All right, everybody, Mike Lee Kenek, Movement is Life. Uh, this video is for my Wolf Apex people. Today is Wednesday. We usually have uh, Muay Thai and Combat Fitness video on Wednesday, but today is the 25th anniversary of the Agana system. So today, this is the video. I'll make it up tomorrow. I'll give you tomorrow uh, a Muay Thai video and the dry fire as far as a uh, workout, just go back into one of the workouts in the Wolf Apex program for prior uh, weeks and just pick any of the workouts over there. This is also a video that I'm gonna post on Facebook uh, explaining how the two hiccups of Agana, how Agana was uh, born in America and what exactly is Agana, okay? So here we go with Agana and if you Movement is Life uh, subscriber on my, um, on my channel, thank you for coming back, okay? So here we go. How did Agana happen in America was what I call a hiccup, okay? Back in the early 90s, I was going back and forth uh, to Manhattan, to, uh, to New York, to train with Ron Mizrahi. Uh, but I think like in 93 or 92, I don't remember exactly the year, I saw an ad in Black Belt Magazine, Krav Maga uh, International, Ron Mizrahi, blah, blah, blah. And I picked up on the name Ron Mizrahi is... Uh, Israeli name. So I picked up the phone and I said, all right, my name is Michael Kenerik. I have a school in Florida. It's a Taekwondo slash kickboxing slash JKD school, but I'm from Israel. And you know, I did come again in Israel as a teenager, this and that. It'd be a good idea. Maybe I, I bring Agana to my school. I start going back and forth. Me and Ron became extremely good friends. We are lifetime friends. I consider him a brother. And in 96, he gave me the okay to start teaching at my school as a brown belt, okay, at that time I was not a black belt Nagana yet, as a brown belt, he says, okay, you're a brown belt now, go ahead and start teaching Krav Maga, blah, blah, blah. This day, this day, 1996, this is why I consider the birth of Haganah, I get a phone call from California, I'm at my school, I answer the phone, and the gentleman they called was named John Whitman, a white man, where the fuck you want to call him, and he goes, I am calling on behalf of World, World Krav Maga, and you are violating trademark, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Then another guy jumped on the fucking uh, 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 phone conversation. Very rude. I found out who he was later, but that's beside the point because these little people did not know that Wood Comnock, my Muta instructor, was actually teaching at the school in, in LA. So I actually, actually got the information on exactly what was going on in that building, but that's beside the point. I always get my fucking intel. And it's like, I'm like, excuse me, uh, because they were very aggressive and rude. I said, listen, I'm from Israel. I was a warrior. I've been training with Ron Mizrahi. I'm a brown belt in this. He goes, well, you're telling people you're a master instructor, blah, blah. I go, no, 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 no. I'm fourth degree black belt in Jolo's fighting systems and Taekwondo. Yes, I'm a master instructor in, in, in martial arts, but what, what this is having to have to do with anything? He goes, well, we own the trademark, blah, blah, blah. And he hung up the phone and he said, you're going to get a cease and desist. If you don't do that, we will sue you for, I don't fucking remember how much money, unless you enter an agreement with us that uh, you can teach Krav Maga under a trademark and it will cost you so and so. I don't fucking remember my number. I hang up the phone, I call on Mizrahi. Somebody called me. He says, oh, they hold the trademark. The guy's named Darren Levine and he holds the trademark and you're going to have to enter an agreement with them. It'll cost you uh, money, but it's worth it cause, so you can teach Krav Maga. So I said, wait, 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 let me get this fucking straight. Who is this guy? He goes, well, he's an attorney from LA and he trademarked the Krav Maga and blah, blah, blah. So I said, okay, so a civilian. He goes, yes, a civilian. I go, so what's his level in martial arts? And he goes, well, he got his Krav Maga in Israel from Imi and blah, blah, blah. So I go, so a civilian. The guy is black belt in Krav Maga. American Jewish guy that flew to Israel back and forth and now he trademarked and we can't teach that. He goes, well, that's America. I go, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm not teaching Krav Maga from now on. Ron was hurt because he wanted me to be under his banner and I still consider him a brother, obviously. And that day, I called one of my students that was a graphic designer and I'm bringing that, that, that graphic into my 25th anniversary uh, uh, shirt. I have a shirt that's coming out and the 25th, it says 25th anniversary and that's the original Agana logo. I called my graphic designer I need a logo with an Israeli flag, the word Hagana, which is, means defense, Tzva Hagana in Israel. Also, my father was Hagana. I want a Golani tree on it. I want a K-bar knife on it and I need a fucking tomorrow morning. So, no problem, you got it. Tomorrow, the next day, 
I had a logo. I incorporate the whole fucking thing. Agana was born out of a fucking hiccup of somebody telling me or denying me the right to teach Krav Maga because they own the trademark. That trademark later on fell apart. For the record, Krav Maga, not anybody can teach fucking Krav Maga in America. It is no longer a health uh, a trademark. It's a free fall in America. And I'll say it now, I know a lot of people are gonna fucking jump in down like fucking, uh, they, I put some subless or what, the, the cactus foot up their ass. And in America, Krav Maga is fucking a whole house now. Bet zone Only a few are teaching the right way and about 90 fucking percent or 95 percent are teaching fucking garbage. Okay, and here I am, I say that and you can fucking jump it up and down and move a fuck. Okay, so here's the deal. I, Agana, or I, because I consider if Agana is me, me is Agana. Without my click and error, there is no Agana. Let's get that straight. That's in America, obviously. Okay, I was born that day. I feel like I was born that day in the sense of like, you know what? Fuck you, Krav Maga. You're not telling me what to do. You're a civilian. You never fought for the state of Israel. And we're going to talk about the second hiccup in Agana with people saying that I'm not a fucking warrior, whatever the fuck I'm talking about. I'm in a good mood today. 25th fucking anniversary of my system when people told me I couldn't do it. So I'm in a fucking great mood. Okay, so I told me that I could not do it. I created Agana. And in the beginning, even Ron, Ron, my friend says to me, what the fuck do you think? You think you're Bruce Lee? The last one that made on his own style was Bruce Lee with Jeet Kune Do. You're not Bruce Lee. I go, I'm not fucking Bruce Lee, motherfucker. I'm Mike Lee. Okay? And from that day on, I believed, I pushed, and I stayed true to my principles until today, 25 years today, to this day, fucking 25 years. If you want Israeli martial art with the mentality that it's supposed to be, with the hardship that it's supposed to be, with the hardness that it's supposed to be with with the with with the real fucking the real deal okay I'm, i'll just say it, the real deal not that some there's a, some kind of people that are real they'll give you that but I, like i said 95 percent fucking bullshit right so you're talking about you're talking about if you want real deal israeli product the way it's supposed to be done on a royal level haganah has that legacy and i'm proud of it and i'll stay proud of it. like this morning i had a private student here and the private student caught me looking at my, in, in the, I'm in my office now, in the back is the, is the gym and the school, and there's a wall with all the shirts, of all, the year, all, of all the years of me teaching Agana to military units, uh, schools, events, karate college, uh, Joe fighting systems, uh, you're, talking, you're talking people bringing me to all kinds of events, and I'm looking at the wall, and that student caught me, and she goes, you should be proud of what you built. And I looked at him like, Actually, I am because up to now, I actually denied myself to be proud, but I'll fucking be proud. Okay, today is the 25th anniversary of the system. I'll be proud of it. So I'm looking at that board with all the shirts, and I actually want to thank Darren Levine because he's a fucking asshole. And here I said it a few months ago. He actually friend request me on fucking Facebook, and I go, "Is this who I think it is?" And he goes, "This is Darren Levine." I go, "I go, are you fucking kidding me? You the guy who fucking denied me teaching Krav Maga?" And now you want to be friends on fucking social media? What the fuck, man? And then he answered back, what? See, you added to that and not change. I will never change. Mike Lee Canary doesn't change. That shirt says it right here. True, true to it, not new to it. I am who I am. Haganah will always be pure Israeli. If you followed me through the years, I don't care from when and from how, in the last 25 years in Haganah, I love you. Thank you for keep following me. Uh, thank you for being with me. There was time, here comes the second hiccup. Then there was a second hiccup. Okay, this is what made Haganah so fucking strong in America. First, can't teach Krav Maga. Fine, we'll do Haganah. And we have become the leading authority of knife fight, Israeli knife fighting in this country. To, to, to every fucking uh, military unit in America. So you're talking the leading authority of Israeli knife fighting in America is Haganah. Is Agana, okay? No Krav Maga, no other. We are the leading authority of knife fight, Israeli knife fighting in this country, and we've pushed strong. Then came this fucking asshole, I don't even fucking remember his name, I try to fucking uh, forget it, uh, Rob something, right? And he came to my organization, and then he could not uh, meet the standards of being a black belt, so he got pissed off that I wouldn't get, let him be the test for a black belt. And then he went on a rampage online, fucking bad mouthing me, telling everybody Mike Lee Canary is not a commando, blah, blah, blah. He's not a counter terrorist guy, blah, blah, blah. And he played with all the fucking words and this and that because people in America are not educated in the, the intricacy of Israeli special forces, okay? Okay, this is that word for special forces. I'm gonna make it fucking straight so you understand. Every Israeli special forces, 
go shoot infantry training into Gibati, Nahal, Golani, or fucking uh, Sanhani. After that, they go into a Maslul. A Maslul is a series of courses that leads to the final course at the end of the Maslul, which the final course is the specialty of the unit. However, up to that final uh, course, we all do the same fucking courses. So if there's a war and things have to fucking uh, half of the unit is fucking dead, half of the unit are, you can fucking uh, mishmash them together and they can fight together because it's all the same fucking methods, just the last course is a little bit different, like Dubdevan did Kuzlotar, I didn't do Kuzlotar, I never said I did fucking Kuzlotar, okay, uh, I said, uh, why was I, uh, something I didn't do, but I'm Orev Golani, special course, up to then I did everything, 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 and Nivutin, there, blah, 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 and then the last course was Kavane Orev, which is a guy that missed a fucking, uh, uh, school by Be'er Sheva in Israel. Okay, so in Israel, special forces all do the same fucking thing up to the final course. Okay, so this guy went on on a rampage. He's not special forces. He's not this and blah 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 blah. And then it was which I've never hit by which I've never hit that fact by the way. Okay, and then the last year of my IDF, I did not. I was not in Oreb Golani because I, became, I I wanted to leave the IDF, and I'll do a video on that separately because that's a big issue. Okay, I wanted to leave the IDF because they won't let me be a fucking officer because I'm not Jewish because they didn't know what the fuck to do with me. I was the only fucking Palit uh, Milchama uh, Vietnami uh, Vietnamese guy in the Israel in ever at that time and they didn't know what the fuck to do with me and they denied me. See the word denied them. Okay, first they denied me to Natish Karamagana. That the IDF denied me to be an officer. Then I said, fuck this. I'm out of this. I'm not fucking fighting uh, uh, as a uh, first sergeant, fucking Lebanon, first Intifada, this and that. Uh, uh, saving lives, fighting for lives, uh, risking my life, and then you're gonna tell me I can't fucking be an officer? God, fuck that shit, I'm leaving, okay? And then on the way out, somebody grabbed me, and you can read about that in my upcoming book, which we already started to work on. The upcoming book of Michael Kinetic is gonna be called Lead, Leading is Living. Ah, you like that shit? Okay, so that, you can read all in the book, okay? Buy the book, motherfuckers, it's gonna be out in a few months, okay? Then on the way out of the IDF, a, a, a high, very high level uh, officer named Dalia grabbed me from the, the education corps, Chel uh, Chinuch, and grabbed me to be a mashak. Mashak means mefaket she'en okatsin, and again, you can read about that in my book. Uh, she became, it was uh, a project with Chayale uh, Makam, which is a very low social economics uh, criminal neighborhood uh, soldiers that blah 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 and it's connected to Raful Eitan Nare Raful or with Chavat HaShomer and and again read about the book so in the last year of my army I was that and I was no longer in my unit then he went on a rampage is he not even a commando because at the end of the army he was in a uh, how you call that uh, administration thing job Nick the fuck you don't understand the idea so but he fucking painted a picture on, on the internet and everybody, including some fucking Israelis that are watching this, uh, this video now, jumped wagon. They were like, you know what, Mike Vickenert is no longer the king of Israel martial arts. Uh, we, we, this guy is fucking bashing him. We don't want to be with Mike because that's a bad camp now. So we're going to jump over there and badmouth Mike as well. And then it became, that's the second hiccup that I went through in Nagana. It, it opened my eyes to close my circle smaller to a smaller organization that is much stronger and I can trust people better because up to that time there were people that as long as I was in magazines, in the movies, on TV, oh, I'm with Mike, I'm with Mike. As, long, as soon as that guy started bashing me a bit, they got worried, oh, if I say I'm with Mike, now he's gonna bash me. Fuck that, I'm, I'm gonna jump over there and I'm gonna be with that guy that badmouth Mike as well, which meanwhile, the guy that badmouth Mike of well was Mike's friends before from Israeli fucking Europe and the whole fucking mishmash and that's what taught me, keep your circle smaller, because bigger is not always better, and Agana got even more calibrated. And today, it is the 25th anniversary of Agana. I am extremely proud of my fucking system. I've changed people's lives in America here. I've saved people's lives. I get all the time phone calls. You saved my life. I went overseas to Afghanistan. If you hadn't do that, I would be there. You saved my life, blah. And I get that. You changed my life. You saved my life. You changed my life. You saved my life. And I fucking love who I am and I love where we are. I got nice 25, it's 25, 25th anniversary. I'm super hyper today. I'm super hyper today. I'm in a great fucking mood. So again, if you want my wolf guys, I wanted to give that, that, that information, blah, blah, blah. So when you understand the legacy you, you, you're in, Agana is a legacy. 
25 years, quarter of a century, all my friends from childhood, from Israel, from fucking uh, people that I met here are all fucking happy for me today. All the people that fucking, uh, uh, all my heroes that went against me when that motherfucker badmarked me now, you can go, go fuck yourself because you jump the fucking uh, fence to the other side thinking it's not, but you stupid, you didn't make your own fucking uh, decisions. And to Darren Levine, the fucking asshole that told me I couldn't do it, I do what I can't do. You tell Mike Lee Canary he can't do something, not only he'll do it, but fucking 25 years later on, he'll make a video telling you it's his 25th anniversary and go fuck yourself. Guys, happy anniversary to Agana. If you're one of my students, Black Bears, I fucking love you. See you tomorrow.